your own hair. Okay, that's way too close. What do you have for us? Alright, first of all, I'll show off a basic HG kit. These things are generally uh, normally sized. Uh, is that a Buster rifle? No. Well, yes. This is a Buster rifle from Wing. It is Wing. This is a Wing Finiche, man. Alright, so this is from the series line uh, Gunmobile Fighters. So these things are designed to be the latest and the greatest and the most custom of all the gun plugs. They bought in lots of motor models. But I'll explain the gun plugs. Um, this one is the Wing Gundam Finiche model, 1x144 HG size. This one, as you can tell, was custom painted. You can see the metallic. Although this one was painted using Gundam markers. See? See, the thing about Gundam markers is that they're the most basic entry level style of painting you can get. Right? So, this is your first. This is the most basic you can get. In terms of articulation? In terms of articulation, basic everything. You don't need to go fancy with these guys. Next is my favorite. Oh, you got the classic. The Master Grade. Alright, these guys are one of the best looking things you can get ever. The only thing that can match this, these things are known as real grades, and real grades are an insanely hard thing to build. This thing here. But not, that wasn't your. That wasn't an issue with the Xia. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. Okay. Well, story with the Xia. You'll, you'll hear from me about that someday. Right. But for now, we'll talk about the basic Master Grade. This is the RX78. Dash 2, one year war, uh, V 2.0. The one that started it all. <laughs> Not matter. Yeah, well, you could say it's the one that started it all. Technically, it originally started with a gym, but details, details. Yeah. But this is your basic uh, master grade. These things have such amazing articulation that even the fingers are moving. Uh, Every individual fingers, but only this is exclusive to the version 2.0 RX78 and the version KA. These oh things yeah. are l quite large and you can build them comfortably. However, it takes a lot of work and customizing them is very, very hard for a beginner. As in, you can't just take out parts from anywhere and then snap them all together. I like the, uh, the Gunner Build Fighters. Unlike the HG kits where you can, back then we used to take uh, parts from the same series or same model line and assemble them together, making a variable unit, like uh, this guy here, this guy here, aka, AKA Gundam Mark II build model. Oh, that's a Gundam Mark II? Yeah, it's a build You mean from Zeta? Yes, it is from Zeta. That's from Zeta? It is from Zeta. I recognize the backpack. Yeah, but, I but yeah. we're getting into this. Um, this thing was customized using from the same series, Build Fighters. And then I added up machine guns and all these funky parts and painted this thing together. So you can see that the, the HG grades have the mo one of the most, um, the most, possibly the most customizability and yeah. easy for entry level beginners. You can even custom paint it in such a way, like this uh, Jim Sniper K9. That thing looks tactical. It's very <laughs> It used to be green. Green stands out too much. Uh, so blue. Yeah, the Jim Snipers are always green. Because you know Well, technically, the original Jim Sniper to Mark II, Jim Sniper II, was blue in color. So this one is a different metallic fish. Uh, a so, little bit of fan service. Uh, the first time I ever saw a Jim Sniper was in 8th MS team. MS you know, the scene where they, they took the down Jim the... Sniper in 8 MS team was uh, was not the Jim Sniper 2 we're all familiar with. Uh, that one was the original GM Brown, but modified to carry the sniper rifle. Right high, high density beam weapon. High density beam weapon. However, it carries no tactical range damage whatsoever. So you couldn't scope without the scope built into the rifle. So it's a fact. Make sure you know your gun moves. <laughs> alright, alright. So, okay. next, whatever. Lastly, 